All right, guys. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to try and simplify Premiere Pro for a complete beginner, for somebody who's never used this software before and they're just opening Premiere Pro for the first time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, simplify it for the beginner. OK, guys, so this tutorial is for you if you've never opened Premiere Pro and you just want to get a quick start and um, just the basics. So first things first, just new project. You open up a new project. And here we're just going to title it. Uh, let's just say. Tutorial, right? Tutorial. OK, don't worry about all this stuff right now. You're just beginning. You just want to get going, right? So um, the thing here with uh, Premiere Pro, what happens? Um, why it gets a lot of people, why a lot of people are intimidated when they're starting Premiere Pro is because when they start, they see this interface and they're like, what's all this? You know, all this looks complicated to somebody who's just learning how to edit a video. You know, people who are just coming from like maybe they're YouTubers or maybe, you know, just somebody new and they want to learn how to edit a video. This looks complicated, believe it or not. If you don't know something, it looks complicated until you do it. Right. Like riding a bike is complicated to somebody who doesn't know how to ride a bike to a kid. It's complicated. But once they ride a bike, balance becomes like second nature, like, oh, you don't know how to ride a bike. But when before you do something, it looks complicated. So what you want to do, what I want to do for you guys is I want to simplify it for you. So the first things that you need to do as a beginner is you need to simplify the interface because this right here, this whole thing is called an interface. So this is what you see when you first get to Premiere. You see this interface, you see all these different tabs up here. You're like, oh, what is this? This one and this one right here. These are my uh, pers um, custom workflows. All these stuff here, like learning, all these tabs up here. These are all like, you know, different workflows that you have to go through. So like the first, the assembly is where you assemble your um, clips and put them on the timeline. And then you start editing it and then you start coloring it. And then you start adding effects and then you work on the audio. And then if you have any graphics, stuff like that until you publish it. But this whole thing looks too complicated for somebody who's just learning Premiere Pro. So what I want to do, the best thing for you to do if you're learning Premiere Pro is go here on window, go to workspaces here and uh, just go to all panels. OK, click this one, all panels. So once you go to all panels, it's going to bring up all the panels in Premiere Pro, everything, right? So what you want to do is you want to start customizing the workflow. So when you customize the workflow, you simplify it. You simplify it. You make it easy. You just have what I want you to do is just have the essentials, just have the basics, because with anything in life, once you get the basics, you get you get you advanced you start looking at something it gets simplified like when you walk into a, a a cockpit into a plane and you see all those buttons and you're like damn this is so crazy i can't fly a plane but honestly there's just a few buttons in there that you need to learn to order to bring that thing up and to make it steady and just a few things you need to learn to land that thing just basics once you just learn the basics you can now start learning the other stuff like how to do transitions, crazy transitions, crazy editing techniques, like slowing down things like doing this, doing that. But when you're first starting to learn a software, you just need the basics just as in a plane. You just need the basics because when you go back to when planes were first invented, all they wanted to do was get airborne. Right. And once they just they figured out how to get airborne. Next thing was to keep that thing in the air. Next thing was to land. Just the basics is all you need in order to get something going, in order to achieve something. The basics, people, the basics. OK, so the basics here, what I would do if I was teaching somebody who's just beginning is simplifying the interface for them. So how do you simplify this so complicated interface? So what you do is um. What you can do with the interface is you can undock these panels. So see when you go to 
all these panels when you click on them you can you know um, undock the panels or you can close the panel okay so you can undock pa a panel and after you undock it if you want you can just close it out or if you want to put it back there you can just um, hold the panel and bring it up to there and you know it's gonna be back there anyways so um, what I'll tell you to do is do this so go go like this just bring this over here a little bit this way and all you need is the the most important panels the basic top panels that you need the panels you need are gonna be right here so the project the project panel you need this panel the project panel so you're going to undock this panel right here okay and then from there the browser instead of like undocking it you can just grab it right here hold on to it and move it up to you see where you can put you can put this panel on different in different places on this panel thing but just put it right here okay guys put it right up here and then um yeah don't worry about this libraries or none of that you can actually just close this panel out if you want just close this panel so the next panel you're going to need is a timeline panel. So here you go. Just undock this panel, undock it, bring it here. And then you're definitely going to need this little toolbar, toolbox thing right here, the toolbar. So hold right here on top and then just bring it up. It needs to be on the side of, um, right here on the side of, whatchamacallit, of the timeline. So you can put it here or here. Okay, guys. So there we go. And just like, um, do like that so that way it can be on the side. You can always like manipulate these panels, but um, to your liking. But I'll do it like this just so the timeline has a lot of space, more space, right? So this is the timeline panel. This is the the project panel, and you got the media and stuff. This is where all your files are gonna be right here. You're gonna be grabbing all your files, all your clips, all your video stuff, the the footage from this panel right here. Okay. And then you're going to be editing them in here and then you're going to be viewing them right here on the program. OK, so that's all you need, guys. All you need is a place to grab your arm um, clips and a place to put them to edit them and a place to view them from. And then after that, you can share your video. Right. So that's all I'm trying to do is simplify it for you, because this looks so complicated for somebody who's just new to this. So here you go. So you have so just undock them and arrange them this way project media browser and then you're gonna need effects and then effects um control so effects control is already here you can bring it up here so see how you can put them put it on different places when you hold it just see where you can put it right so it's right there so you put it right next to the media browser right here right okay so the next thing after you have the project the media the effects um control here what you need is the effects tab right here too right so we already have our timeline and our toolbox right here. So what you do from here is you go on window and then you go to workspaces and then you go to assembly. Okay. Click assembly. So once you click assembly, it's kind of going to like re, you know, it's going to readjust itself with the panels and everything. So. what you do now is like just kind of like minimize a little just like you know shrink the timeline a little bit right here and then um so now your project you know where you had the project the media and the effects control thing is going to be right up here right so it's going to be right up here so this is going to be your main uh window right here when you close this window the window that has all your info right here the project info when you close that window you pretty much close the project but if you close this you can reopen it again right anyway so there you go so what you want to do is you want to bring the program right up here okay so program is where you're going to view um your project and then um this um this window right here where you have the project and the media and where I was putting all that other stuff, the 
the the project the media and the effects panel so this is where you're going to have all the files that uh, that, that you want to put in the timeline right so right now i'm just like kind of um reconfiguring this interface for you guys to simplify it for you so that way each panel can just have one or two um things on it like right now this panel only has the program on it right we can we can have the source here but don't worry about that okay don't worry about that so right now we just have the program here and here we just have the timeline and the toolbox right and right here instead of like complicating uh, making it complicated for you guys and uh, having you guys see a whole bunch of things up here. All I want you to have is the project, the media browser, the effects, and then the effects panel. So as you can see right now, these these are not this. That's not what's on here. So you go to this and you close this panel. You go here and you close this damn panel. You go to workspaces, you close this panel. You go to libraries, you close this panel. So now you just have the uh, project media and I want you to get the effects and the effects control. So what you do, you go on window and then you go to the effects. You click on effects. It comes up here. You go on window again, effects panel. I'm sorry, effects control comes up right here, right? So there you go. So now you have the basics of Premiere Pro. So you have where you can get your files from where you can edit your files and where you can view your files from. So right now I don't like this interface right here. So what I would do is uh, I'm trying to simplify it for you again, guys. My job here is trying to simplify it for you. So what you want to do is you want to go like that. Make the timeline, the whole thing down here. And then uh, this right here, this panel with the projects, you can kind of like make it up to right here if you want. Or you can kind of uh, maximize this a little bit. But what I like doing is, um, um, well, you can work with this. Right now, let's just do half and half, right? So see how simple it is. All you have is the is this window right here, this window right here, and this window. That's all you need. And it's so simple for you right now. So it's been simplified for you. So what you do is how it works is the project is where you see all your files in, right? So you can import media in here, but as a beginner, don't do that. What you want to do is you want to go in media browser and um, go and get the media you want in media browser. The reason why I say that, I think it's, it's pretty, it's, it's simple. You just go, cause it's going to show you all the drives you have right here, especially if you're coming from um, Final Cut Pro, this is going to make sense to you where you go in media, media browser and you're going to see where you, you got your different hard drives. So for me, I have this right here, Macintosh, and then I go to user and then I go to my name here, which I'm going to blare out because there's some crypts up here, you know, trying to steal my information anyway. So everything is in my desktop right here and I'll go to this folder where I want all my, um, where I have the files, the files to show you guys. So I'm um, just going to go in here. I did a wedding. So you can keep like going down, you know, and then uh, this is the folder where I have the clips that I want. So now you see how it is. So now you have your files, your clips, your footage is going to come up here. Um, if you have the thing on the, um, if you have your footage on the desktop, you can just go to that folder and your stuff will come up here, your files will come up here, your video clips. So as you can see, there's nothing here. There's no timeline. There's nothing. It looks complicated, right? But what you can do is you can just um, drag and drop these files from here to here. So what you do is you, you just get the file. Let me see. Let me get one. Hmm. This one right here. So you grab it and then you drop it in here and then it's going to import the file. So now you see all this timeline and all that stuff, right? You see it has all these things. Yeah, don't worry about any of this. I know it looks complicated right now, but trust me, it's not. All I need you to do is grab a file from there, drop it here, and then it's going to bring up this whole timeline thing, right? And uh, in Premiere Pro, this is called a sequence, right? So a sequence is where you kind of, you know, I think that's sounding too complicated. Right now, just grab the files and drop them in here. Okay, drop them in here. So once you do that is now you get to see that file you've dropped 
in this window that's why i needed you to bring this window here the program window so you can um yeah that's where you can view the file from also space is a good um shortcut if you want to play instead of going right here you can just click go on any part of the file and just click space so um yeah so that's pretty much all you do guys so that's all you do is just you bring the files so now this is what i wanted wanted to show you is now this has been simplified right it's simple for you guys so you grab the files in here you bring them on the timeline you can view them here and that's it that's all you need to know as a beginner that's all you need to know and um if you editing and all that stuff how to edit your clips and stuff in premiere pro that's another video right now as a beginner all you need to do is all you need to learn is the basics all you want to do is how can i get my video how can i edit my video so just learn the interface just simplify the interface and then what you can do after you customize like this is this is a customization of an interface so you can go on window and then workspaces and then you can go and save as new workspace okay save as new workspace so here you save it and then you name it what you want let's name it um badass interface badass just, just badass and then um okay and then now you you've saved your new custom um simplified workspace so there you go and then if you want you can switch it to different interfaces the reason why i wanted you to have the effects and the effects control is um let's say you put your clip here right with the effects control let's say you want to add um you want to fade the clip in or um fade the audio in all you do is go to video transitions you go to dissolve and then dissolve is those, those are the transitions so um dissolve you want the transition to dissolve in right see like when you start it see how it faded in kind of like faded in but when i um take the transition off when you start it it just starts without a anyway that's like transitions i don't want to teach you all that so the basics is just bring get your files from here and drop them in this timeline okay so you can drop them on top of another timeline onto another video like let's say here so it's going to go here and you know you can do all, all these kinds of things here then that clip comes up but that's a video for a different day so all i need you to do is customize this interface to make it look simple for you to understand as a beginner you need it simplified right so that's all you need to learn and then um if you need to export this video all you need to do oh, i'm doing is deleting that all you need to do is um now you go to file and then you go to export file you go to media all right you go to media wait for a while and then you go to media and then here you choose what you want so um just match sequence settings no actually don't do that so what you want to do um is go to this one h.264 click on it and write on preset click on um high bit rate so match the source of the video or the clip high bit rate and just go down here and then you can export if you want to choose to where you want to export it to just go on the output name right here on the output name click on this thing right here on the file and then you can choose where you want to put it so in this case i just want it on the desktop right and the format uh, mp4 right and you can change the name too badass there you go and then just save that and then you go down here don't worry about any of this stuff you know so it's going to go to desktop slash badass and then you export it and then it's going to be exported right so that's the basics guys so that's all you need to know you need to first just simplify the work um the workspace okay simplify the interface once you simplify the interface um everything looks less complicated for you as a beginner that's what you want to do 
okay? When you go to learn everything, like you go to math, first they teach you how to count, right? From zero to 10, right? You don't go to kindergarten and then they ask you, what's X plus Y? You know what I'm saying? What's 100 minus 24? You don't go to kindergarten. First, they teach you the basics. They teach you how to count. And then they teach you what's one plus one. And then they teach you like, you know, like simple things. So you need to, that's how um, I would teach somebody. I would first simplify the, the interface. And then after I simplify the interface, I can now start showing them how to do different things. But all you need to know is simplify the interface, bring the videos from here to the timeline. You can view them here. You can edit them in here. But all you need to know first is the basics. You can do that, do this, view them there, export your video. That's it. Okay. All that other stuff comes later. But simplify, uh, to simplify Premiere Pro, this is all you need to know right now is that's all you need. All you all you want to do is get from point A to point B, right? Doesn't matter if you go in a BMW, if you go in a Toyota, you want to get from your house to the store, right? You don't care. Any car is going to do that for you. If it's got gas, it's good. It doesn't care what car you drive in, what brand. All you want to do is get from point A to point B. So in this case, all you want to do, all you want to know is how you can edit a video in Premiere Pro. So the best way to do it is like, I want to just show you the basics. This is how you do it. You open the interface, you simplify it for, so you can understand. And then you just get the files, drop them on the timeline. You can view the files right here in the program. You can view them, you can play them space. You can play the files and stuff. And um, all that other editing comes in the next video. But right now you can just view them there and then export them and that's it. That's all you need to know for the basics. So stick around and I'll be creating more simplified videos for you guys, okay? Thank you. And make sure you subscribe and smash the like button while you're at it.